Baseball. It is said it's just a game. True. And the Grand Canyon is just a hole in Arizona. There's a ground ball right side. Could do it. The Houston Astros are world champions for the first time in franchise history. MLB Network has baseball coming your way on a summer night at Oriole Park in Baltimore. Tonight, the first of two in this interleague matchup between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Baltimore Orioles. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Alex Cobb, a Massachusetts-born right-hander, will get the start in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks. And that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. First offering on its way. And a swing and a miss. So a first pitch strike as we're underway here this evening. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they did get the win last time out, but it hasn't been the best week for them as they've won just twice in their last six tries. Yeah, Matty, we had a saying in Texas, hit or get left behind. And that's exactly what this team did in their last game. Scored a bunch of runs, but good approach at the plate, working the ball to all gaps. Line the line, this team swung the bats well. I'm going to be looking for that again in this one. With that, here's the starting lineup for the visiting Philadelphia Phillies. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, one of their hotter hitters has been Carlos Santana. He hit seven home runs last month. That's a legit power threat. When you start looking at that over the course of a long season, he's putting up some big numbers. This guy's got great power. So next to the plate for the Phils, Nick Williams. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. 
hit high and deep out to left center field. Jones going back to the track, but he can't get there. This splits the outfielders and heads toward the wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. Batting third, second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. Digging in the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. He's set. Here it comes. Swinging a soft liner, and this is taken for the out. Batting four, left fielder, Reese Hoskins. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Reese Hoskins. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit hard towards center. And that's in there. Base hit. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. So he's able to come through here with two away, and that's a good time to check out our RBI leaders on the league leaderboard. Striding forward now is the D.H. Aaron Altair trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. From the stretch here's the pitch hit on the ground toward the left. He's got it. He'll go to scope at second for the force out and that ends the inning. Phillies get a couple of hits here and it leads to one on the scoreboard. On now to the bottom of inning number one. Philadelphia is on top one to nothing. Aaron Nola gets the ball for Philadelphia in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Right there for strike one. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, they've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight games. Yeah, Maddie, this team has been playing really well right now, and, and and this is case in point. Chance to jump out again to another one nothing lead. They've really been doing that. They've been on attack, early hey. offensive, almost ambush like approaches to their at bats, and it's working for them. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called. And that's going to be out number one. Now a moment here in Baltimore for the Orioles starting lineup. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Yeah, and if you're pitching, you better be aware of Crush Davis. He's really had a heck of a year in the power categories. Slugging over 500 coming into this one. That means almost every time he's hitting the ball, he's hitting it hard somewhere. Should be fun to watch. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Working the plate is Carl Dixon. Hey, d -Row, one of the things you have to be aware of as a hitter from Carl Dixon, he'll call that high strike. Yeah, he will. So you better be on top of your game with two strikes because if they elevate, good chance Carl Dixon's punching your ticket. Bases are empty, one man out. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Ready now for Baltimore. Manny Machado. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Strike one to start the at bat. Machado now on 0 and 1. Sharp slider that time, just missed inside. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Struck him out. So he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts. Stepping in, Carlos Santana. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. 
lifted into the air to shallow center. Coming in is Jones, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Okay, here's how the birds line up today on defense. And let's shine the light on shortstop Manny Machado. That's right, shortstop. He could play third, he could play short. It doesn't matter. He's one of the best defenders in the game. In now, Michael Franco. He enters play at number six in National League batting average. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line toward the gap in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. At the plate, Jorge Alfaro. First at bat for him as he enters play number three in the National League batting race. From the stretch. Hit out toward second. Scope is there. The second for one. On to Davis at first. It's a double play, and the side is retired. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Here's Chris Davis now. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. There's a first pitch curveball trying to come back to the outside corner. Didn't get it that time. It's ball one. A swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. Way out of here as it bangs off the gate. It's a solo home run for Chris Davis. Number 11 for him on the season as the Orioles have come back to tie our score at one. Certainly a tape measure shot there as we take a look at it with our show track technology. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity so it comes as no surprise that it carried as far as it did. First pitch of the at bat. Tough slider over the inside corner for a strike. No outs, nobody on. Popped him up. And Santana will watch it into the glove for the first down. So here's how the Phillies are positioned defensively. And let's take a look at first baseman Carlos Santana. Originally came up from the minors as a catcher. Also has dabbled at DH. But don't get it twisted. This guy can handle first base as well with soft hands and big time power at the plate. Here's Jonathan Scope now. One run in and one gun so far this inning. Now a slider and he gets ahead of him here 0 and 1. And it's 0 and 2 to Scope. I guess he's really trying to measure that fastball in his first at bat but you really never want to put yourself in 0 2 count if you could do anything about it. And this is fouled at the plate. Nola just 24 years of age he was selected in the first round during the 2014 draft. Yeah Matty they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name and kids are buying his jersey. So he notched the backwards K on that one. Jonathan Scope becomes out number two this inning. In now for the O's Pedro Alvarez and he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. Now the 2 0. He is looked at for the first strike. Two out, nobody on. In front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now.
into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And the slider just stayed north of the strike zone that time. When a pitch is close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford having a very nice year currently second in the NL batting chase. First delivery to him on the way. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. Oh and two the count to Crawford. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. That's not an at bat he or his hitting coach are going to be happy with at all. It's bad enough to go down on three pitches but none of them were even in the strike zone. That's a bad look. Here's the center fielder Odubel Herrera. And he puts it on the ground to second. Scope has it. And there's out number two. The right fielder number five. Nick Williams. Up next will be Nick Williams. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Throw on to Davis yeah. takes care of him and that'll end the inning. Three up three down for Philadelphia. After two and a half it remains a one one ball game. Standing in, Colby Rasmus. He was one for four in Sunday's Night affair. Colby Rasmus. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. In there, and it's 0 2 now. Hey as a hitter right here you can't be leaning out over. I know those first two pitchers were in the outer half but nothing saying he can't ride a fastball in right here. The bouncer to the left side there is Franco and the throw on the first will take care of him so he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield one away. And with that, we give you a look at what's happening in the NL East race. So striding forward now, Caleb Joseph. He was one for three in the ball game back on Sunday. And a curveball drops in there for strike one. One out, nobody on. Behind 0 and 2 now. <laughs> 0 and 2 count. Here's the pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball, and it'll hold the count at 0 and 2. And a swing and a miss, and another punch out here. Six already, and that's out number two. Well this lineup obviously doesn't get to see this guy very often because he's over in the other league and it's really showing he's pitching really well right now and I'm sure these hitters are plenty happy they don't have to face him multiple times this year. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. 
This is why this guy is so effective. He's able to pound the zone, get ahead in the count, and now he has so many options to go to. I really couldn't tell you. It's a flip of the coin as to what he's going to throw right here. The next 0-2. Hit the other way out toward right field. Hernandez is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. We played three full. We're tied at one. <laughs> Digging in to try it again, Cesar Hernandez. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. And this is the side of the plate this guy loves to hit at. Hitting over 350 left-handed, hitting against right-handed pitching. Line hard toward right center. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. So a base hit for him has him aboard to start out their half of the fourth as we take a look at the league leaderboard in hits. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Set and the pitch is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. And that'll get over the wall for a ground rule double. And that'll keep runners at second and third now with still nobody out. Hey, it's hard to say if he would have scored if the ball hadn't hopped over the wall. They might have held the runner at third because there were no outs, but who knows? Either way, they'll still wind up with a runner at second and third and still no outs after the ground rule double. Into the box, Aaron Altair hit in the air down the right field line. Rasmus on the run. He's there and records the first down. Now batting the first baseman, Carlos Santana. Here's Carlos Santana now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. It looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk and the force play is now in order. Well they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. He's just too dangerous and they decided they'll take their chances with the next guy in the lineup. He's ready. Here's the first offering. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Jones is under it. He gets there to make the catch but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third and that'll bring home the runner from third to make this a two to one ball game. Obviously so he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded but you can't be too upset with the sack fly. Stepping in and ready for another shot Jorge Alfaro two men on two away here in the fourth. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch hit hard to the right side scopes able to get there throw on to Davis takes care of him and that'll end the inning Phillies will have to be content with just the one on now to the bottom half of inning number four it's the Phillies two and the Orioles one Digging in for his second at bat, Tim Beckham. He'll begin things here against Aaron Nola. First pitch coming, here it is. And he hung a curveball that time that stayed high. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. Slider clocked in the mid 80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. This guy has been throwing the ball so well and that's exactly why he has such a feel for that secondary pitch. He can flip it over whenever he wants and get back in the count. 
skied in the air to straightaway left. Hoskins waits on it, one away. The shortstop, number 13, Manny Machado. Ready for another chance, Manny Machado. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. Fourth inning of a 2 to 1 ball game. Hard hit ball to short. Crawford fields it cleanly. And that's the second out. First baseman, number 19, Chris Davis. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Chris Davis. He went deep in his first at bat, and we'll see what he's got in store for us here. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. One run, just one hit, and no errors for the Orioles so far. One and one, the count to Chris Davis. If you're in the box right now, you've got to wait him out. He obviously does not want to come see you with a fastball. He's been nibbling this hole at bat and just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. The one two. Gets him looking up around the letters. Three up, three down for the Orioles. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Just a bit jumpy that time. Swung on and missed. Hey, if I'm on the mound right now and I get a swing and miss like that, I'm bouncing it even further, throwing it even higher. I might pick up the rosin bag and throw that and see if I can get a swing and a miss. The wind up and the 0 1. Fouled off. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. Lifted in the air to center field. Go onto the grass. He can't get there as it falls in. Man, he got the front foot down right there, kept the front shoulder no, tough, and was able to stay inside that ball for a soft liner in his center field. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. There's one. On to Davis, but too late, and they'll settle for just the one. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off-balance throw to the second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Up next will be Nick Williams, and it's fouled away. He's working on a one for two game so far. Grounded back up the middle. Played on the backhand. Step on the back for one. On to Davis at first. It's a double play and the side is retired. We'll see Adam Jones when we come back. It's the Phillies two and the Orioles one. Leading off for the Orioles, center fielder. He's ready. Adam Here's the first offering. Jones. Tough slider over the inside corner for a strike. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Chasing after it is Williams. And that's the first out of the inning. A little bit over halfway six. home tonight. Jonathan. Bottom of the fifth as we get a look at our line score to this point. And boy, just one hit for these guys. And they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. Here's Jonathan Scope now. First time up, he went down looking. First delivery to him on the way. 
Yeah. And that one right down Main Street. Scope is a player referred to as clutch by teammates coaches and of course the media he seems to find himself in pressure situations often and it's hard to find many instances where those moments have gotten the best of him. it just appears he really relishes the big spot on to first and very quickly two are gone in the home fit Pedro Alvarez Riding in once again, Pedro Alvarez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First offering on its way. Great tilt on the slider on the inside corner. Fifth inning, 2 to 1 our score. Good curveball, strike two. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. Still no balls and two strikes. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They're down 2-1. Riding in once again, Cesar Hernandez. He'll lead things off here in the Philadelphia sixth. Here comes the first pitch. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And no one will track it down. The 0-1. Oh line toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So he continues to hit the ball well. His second hit of the ball game, and he's aboard on the leadoff single. As we take a look at the league leaders in hitting, and as you can see there, he's off to a flying start. The NL's leader in that department here in the month of May. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. Here's the first pitch to him. Popped high in the air. Davis shading to his right. He's got it one away. The batter, the designated hitter, Aaron Altair. Ready for another chance? Aaron Altair. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch coming, here it is. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Yeah, Matt, it's incredible to watch him go after guys. He's forcing a lot of early contact, and they haven't done a whole lot with the balls they put in play against him. The 0-1 on its way. Sent out to straightaway center field. Jones is under it. Two down. Now batting, the first baseman, Carlos Santana. Ready for another shot now, Carlos Santana. He was given a free pass via the intentional walk last time. First pitch on its way. Owen won the count. Hernandez, the runner at first with two gone. There's a swing and a high pop up. And Davis will put this one away, and the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia. They still lead it two to one.
digging in to try it again. Colby Rasmus will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched at this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Caleb Joseph. Comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Back to back breaking balls. He just missed that one right there. Fouling it away. Do not expect a third. To short. Crawford gloves it. Throw just in time. And oh that was awfully close. Now batting. Left fielder. Ray Mancini. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Trey Mancini. No hits to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Leaves a slider right over the middle. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. Thought he had the inside corner that time but it missed for ball one. The one one home. It's a slider that backs up for a ball. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Ball even at two and two. Here now the two two. He's in there. A called strike three. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Our score remains two to one. Welcome back to baseball on MLB Network. It's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front. And it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings so far. Ready once again, Michael Franco. It was an RBI sack fly for him last time through. Michael Franco. First delivery to him on the way. Lifted in the air to center field. Jones is after it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. This guy's not wasting any time, right? Gets a first pitch fastball, and he flies out deep on the first pitch of the inning. Digging in once again, Jorge Alfaro. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. He's set. Here it comes. Chopped weakly to the left. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. Now batting, Digging in and looking for more, J.P. Crawford, one for two in the ball game thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. High in the air out to center field. Jones is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Phillies down in order as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Tim Beckham to try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. 
A breaking ball taken at the knees for strike one. They haven't gotten much going against this guy so far in this one. He's been pitching well. And one of the key numbers to look at, first pitch strikes over 70% so far in this outing. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. The one two. Liner toward right center. But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first down. Boy, talk about hitting into some rough luck. That was an absolute bullet to the outfield that gets caught, and he would have represented the tying run. Here's Manny Machado now. As he'll take a first pitch curveball right down the middle for strike one. Oh, for two for him to this point. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. That one is out of here. This game is tied. It's a solo home run off the bat of Manny Machado. Number 148 for his career as the Orioles have come back to tie this one at two. Yeah, we're all tied up, and it's anybody's ball game after that blast. We live in that what-have-you-done-for-me-lately world, so that gem he was pitching doesn't mean anything anymore. Here's Chris Davis now. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. A hit in two tries for him so far. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. Now on 0-2, I don't think we're going to see any more hittable fastballs. If we see one at all, it'll probably be extended out of the zone, or at least that'll be the intent. Hit hard, but foul to the left, and they'll try it again. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. That was a big strikeout there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. And that's in there for a strike. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Fouled away. The ball and two strikes to Adam Jones. Two runs on two hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Popped him up. Santana moving to his left. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Orioles strike for one on the home run by Machado. We'll march on to the eighth, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Richard Blyer has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 48. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Odubel Herrera. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Here's the first pitch to him. Sent on the ground out to second. Taken in by Scope. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Not a lot of offense to go around, but a very tightly contested ball game. 2-2 our score here in the eighth as it's starting to look more like one run may be enough to win this one. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Nick Williams. He's working on a one for three thus far.
The 0-1 delivery. High fly ball out to deep right field. Back goes Rasmus at the track. The wall into the flag court and gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field as they've taken the lead. It's now three to two. Everybody has heard of a hitter punishing a curve or a slider that just hangs. Well, this was a cutter. It just hangs right there out over the heart of the plate, and he didn't miss it. Can't leave a pitch like that to a professional hitter. Well, you can, but that's what you get. Into the box now, Cesar Hernandez. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Under it is Rasmus now for out number two. Now batting, left fielder. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. He's two for three and looking for more here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Gone. Reese Hoskins with a solo shot number 13 for him on the year and it's given the Phillies a four to two lead. No doubt an impressive home run so we'll employ show track for a more in-depth look 112 miles an hour was the exit velocity off the bat so it's no wonder why it ended up having the impressive distance that it did. Up next for Philadelphia. In now, Aaron Altair. Aaron Altair. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Rasmus giving chase. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Phillies lead this one 4-2. to two. Here's Jonathan Scope now. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, D. Rowe, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. In now, Pedro Alvarez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This is pulled into right and that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. And he had two on his mind and that's what he'll get as he's in at second base with a one out double. That's what you call a clutch piece of hitting down two runs. He puts himself in scoring position and brings the tying run to the plate. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting. In now for the O's, Colby Rasmus. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Hit sharply toward the right side. Williams back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Now batting, after Caleb Joseph. Ready now for Baltimore, Caleb Joseph. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. You know, Maddie, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. Just with launch angles and exit velocities, I think guys are afraid to throw that sink and fastball for fear that guys are just going to run their barrel. 
And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. One left for the Orioles. They trail it here four to two. Zach Britton comes on to work now, and he's their usual closer, but this is obviously not a save opportunity. Yeah, this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Carlos Santana. First pitch on its way. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. The 0 2 home. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And there's a base hit. And this could wind up as an important insurance strike here as the leadoff man's aboard to start the ninth. Boy, D. Rowe, there's a case of the outfield defense playing so deep that that ball looked like it was extra bases all the way, but they were able to cut it off. Yeah, not too many times I would agree. I, I, I'd i love to hear your take on this as well. The no doubles defense, I, I kind of never understood it to begin with. I felt like the pitcher, if he can execute the game plan to keep the ball in front of the outfielders, but right there, boy, I was wrong. That worked. No balls in one strike. He's one for two in this one. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. <laughs> Working for the punch out and the offering. And the 0-2 here is fought off at the plate and we'll do it again. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. The 0-2 once more. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. That's just a great pitch, both on the call from the catcher and the execution. If he hits it, there's a good chance it turns into a double play ball, but it's also a spot that's going to get a lot of whiffs, too. That's excellent pitching. Stepping in now, Jorge Alfaro, as he sends it on the ground to first. Fielded cleanly by Davis. One there. And good hustle by the pitcher there on the back end as it's a three to six to one double play, and the side is retired. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. Nothing in the Philadelphia ninth. Last chance coming up for Baltimore. They remain down by a count of four to two. Settling in now, Trey Mancini. He could really Leading use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. First pitch of the at bat. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Line drive to left. Hoskins is there and that won't help the cause it's a quick out here to start the home ninth. Well he hit that ball pretty well but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Into the box Tim Beckham. He swings and rounds it to short. 
throw to first takes care of Beckham for the second out of the inning. The shortstop, number 13, Manny Machado. Here's Manny Machado now. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Outfield in the no doubles defense. Now the first pitch. Good breaking ball there. Had him frozen. Strike one. You have to find a way in this situation to look in that on deck circle and find a way to get your best hitter to the plate with a chance to tie it. One one home. Popped him up. And he'll make the final out to put an end to this one. And the Phillies have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Hey, listen, in baseball, we don't see very many complete games any longer because of pitch counts. But listen, he was good from the first inning through the ninth. Well-deserved complete.